In our growing Colorado, what should come of a vacant alley or a parking lot can inspire anger. So you can imagine the concerns over CSU's old Hughes Stadium, a literal football field-sized plot of land in Fort Collins. Number 7 Chantal reports on the development dilemma. Ever since CSU closed up shop where Hughes Stadium stood, there's been a curiosity to what's coming next. Potentially, you know, everybody would like to see a great dog park area here. Did an analysis of the site to see if it would make a good natural area site. It didn't. The city always thought development was needed. Recently adopted city plan did call for um, uh, allowance of greater housing types because we have a shortage of, of variety of housing types. Two weeks ago, the city voted to rezone part of the land for high density residential area. There were lines, two lines of people, possibly 20, 30 people each. Nick Frey was at that meeting and when he heard that both Mayor Wade Troxell and Councilwoman Kristen Stevens worked at CSU who was looking to sell the land to a developer. I was struck by the disclosure of potential conflicts of interest. So he filed a complaint with the Ethics Review Board on Thursday. It really sat wrong with me and I said this needs to be brought up in a formal process. We spoke with Councilwoman Stevens over the phone who disagrees. I would have never chose to vote on this issue if I thought I was breaking any kind of ethics violation or if I had a conflict of interest. I've accused myself before. But once the zoning issue passes council, it's no longer on their plate. CSU has expressed some desire to build some affordable housing um, and attainable housing in our community, and, and so I guess it's in CSU's court in a way. Now that second reading and vote is scheduled for Tuesday night at City Council meeting. Frey says he will be there to speak out and hopes that the vote doesn't take place. In Fort Collins, Sean Toll, Denver 7.